Hey guys, so you are aiming for the top, an A star in your GCSE science. Here are my tips on what you need to do. So, I cannot guarantee you're going to get an A star, but here are a few really, really good things you need to do to get yourself well on that way. You need to cover everything that I've covered in my How to Get a C video. You need to do all of those things, and you need to do a few extra things. You need to go and find the hardest question videos. And these are available on my vision guide, which is on my website, or on the playlist for the AQA specification. You need to use the specification as a checklist. Now again, for AQA, this is in the revision guide, but if you're not doing AQA, then you can go and get it from the exam board website. Use it as a checklist, tick off everything you know and work out the bits you don't know, and then make sure that you know them. Your math skills need to be perfect. Yeah, I know, I'm talking about science exam, but we need to be really, really tight on those. So we're not only talking about like how to do the chemistry maths, the physics maths, we're talking about maths maths. So things like significant figures and standard form rounding. To help you with all of this over on my website, you'll find maths and calculator skills for science students, maths the chemistry bits and maths the physics bits, which will tighten everything up and give you loads and loads and loads of practice questions. These are also available in video format, not quite finished but nearly there, over on my classroom channel. You need to be good at graphs. This is drawing graphs, drawing lines of best fits, looking at anomalous points, describing the trends in graphs. This is a big, big, big thing, especially in biology. In physics, you need to be able to rearrange equations. Again, this will come up in my booklet, um, maths, the physics bits, but you need to be hot on rearranging equations and doing it properly and converting to standard units because for those A-star questions they're going to give you some ridiculously, ridiculously hard questions to do. I've made loads and loads of these for you to practice, you can find them on my website or again on my classroom channel. You need to pay attention to detail. So many times I'll be going through um, a paper with a student like, like I'm two marks off an A-star miss, I'm going to find those two marks and I'm kind of like, you missed this question out, like, I didn't see that one. You can't not see questions. I know sometimes it will just look like a big block of text with like a picture for you to fill in or something. You can't skip questions. Read everything in the exam paper. Get your highlighter pens out. Start highlighting stuff. Pay attention to detail. You need to be focused. If you are aiming for that A star, know why you are aiming for that A star, what your motivation is, and stay focused. Do not let things like, um, Boyfriend, girlfriend dramas, um, school dramas get in the way because drama it happens in year 11, it happens a lot in year 11, potentially more than any other year. You need to practice, 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 practice. That's it basically. You need to practice loads and loads and loads until you have science coming in and out of your ears. Now, I know that is a lot. For you to do. I know it is. I know you've got a lot of stuff going on, you've got lives, you've got other subjects, but if you want those A stars, we are basically looking at perfection. We need to be getting 55 out of 60 if we want to be getting A stars. I'm afraid there's no way around it. The grade boundaries are going to be so ridiculously high this year. Um, so yeah, there is a lot for you to do there, guys. Good luck.